Hi, my name is Mark Kesler. I've been teaching in Manchester for the past 13 years. And today we're going to have a look at some of the statistics functions in the new FX83 and 85 GTX calculator. So we access those by the new menu button here. And we can scroll across and press equals, or we could just press 2 to access those. We're going to look at some one variable statistics, although there's regression options available. So we'll press 1 here. And we could enter some data in here. So we'll have 2, 3, and 4. Now there is another way we can display the data, which is with a frequency. So if we go into the setup, we've got the scroll bar down the side here, and we'll go into the statistics section here, and we can turn the frequency on. Now we can enter some data in again, and the nice thing is I could use this the way I was doing it before, because it automatically enters in a frequency of 1. But let's go and change some of those frequencies. Now, in the previous version of the calculator, it was very hard for your students to actually access the summary statistics, uh, but it's been made a lot easier to use, and we access those via the options key here. Okay, and we're going to do some one variable calculations. And straight away here, we ha actually have all the summary statistics. We've got the scroll bar down the side, and the statistics take advantage of the new four times higher resolution. So we've got X bar, for instance, here, we can scroll down and see the number of pieces of data that we've got. And new to the calculator this time around is we've actually got the quartiles in. So that and the minimum and the maximum. So it's much easier to use. And if you'd like to see some more resources, they're available online at education.casio.co.uk.